Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our comfy tree. Uh, today we've got a snack box from Munch Pack. Munch Pack, yeah. Munch Pack. Snacks from around the world delivered to your door. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna give it a try. See what, what we got. It's our first one. Hmm. So we have a three month subscription, so we'll do at least three of these and then decide if we want to keep doing them. We both enjoy tasting, so we thought it could yeah. be kind of fun. So that's the guide for everything. Mm hmm. And it looks like this time we have stuff from Brazil, Croatia, Japan, uh, UK, Canada, Spain. So all sorts of different ones. It's not yeah. like one country, it's yeah. like a mismatch. It's a mixture of other ones. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you want to go first or should I? You pick first. I'm going straight for the sweet chili. All right. So these are Mackies of Scotland, ridge cut sweet chili potato crisps, gently mm. cooked to perfection. Ooh. So it says, crispy ridge chips that are full of flavor enjoy a perfect combination of sweet, spicy, and tangy. Yeah. Cool. All right. I feel like the UK is known for having good crisps. Yeah. We it, have to use crisps. We have to use crisps. Okay. Yeah. It can't be chips or crisps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. One for me. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. Look at all the, like, yeah. sauce on, on it, or all the, like, the spices. Seasoning. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That's got a nice crunch to it. Mm-hmm. They're thick cut, like, yeah. when you think of, like, kettle cut, or, like, the really kind of thick um, chips. Lots of spices. I'm not getting any. Okay, the one I had yeah. had tons of spices on it. Do you want to have a little bit of that? Um, it's huh? good, but they're like tons of spices. Like lots of it makes me think of like cooking. Like if you yeah. were straight up eating some type of like chili chicken dish. Definitely, I'm getting that more on that. I think I got one like no seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. Or very minimal. Mm -hmm. A lot of barbecue and a lot of like chicken seasonings. Like mm. that's what it reminds me of is like the chicken bouillon or like chicken seasonings, which I feel like the UK is quite um, known for their chicken chips. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not getting the chili though. I'm not getting much spice to that, no. I will say that. And I'm not getting the sweet either. I feel like no. their sweet chili is more of just like our barbecue. Yeah, whoop. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's definitely more of a barbecue chip than it is a sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you go next then. <laughs> All right, so we just had something salty. I'm gonna go sweet. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to go for like ones I'm really excited about or ones I'm less excited about. And I think I'm going to go well, let's for go, one. Let's go less to best. I'm slightly less excited about. And that's just because pineapple isn't my favorite flavor. <laughs> I'm going to go with these pineapple gummies. So this, Vital Gummy Pineapple Rings. Fat free, gluten free, peanut free. Because it's all sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but sugar and pineapple flavor. <laughs> and it seems like this is from Spain. Gummy rings that taste just like biting into a sweet, juicy, fresh pineapple ring. Find a passport to paradise in every bag. Oh. It's 100 calories for five pieces, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> All sugar. One for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. They even have the little, like, the little rings ridges. around yeah. them, like, uh, Oh, they pineapple. smell wonderful. They do smell very pineapple-y. I like it. Go on sour to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a good sour. Mm. See, I like these. Mm -hmm. I might just take the bag with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, they're okay. It's got okay. a nice like, resistance to it, too. Mm -hmm. They're, um, yeah, they like, when you pull it, it's like a... They're not like a gummy bear texture. They're more like in between a gummy bear and like a fuzzy peach, kind of yeah. like in between. Um, I don't mind them. For somebody who isn't a big pineapple fan, they have really juicy flavor. Very, like, natural-ish flavor. Very natural. Like, I'm weird. I don't really like real pineapple, but I love pineapple flavored things. Mm -hmm. These are definitely, like, pineapple flavored, not, like, fake pineapple. These are pineapple pineapple. You definitely get that, like, hit of, like, yeah. um, sour at the back of your mouth. It makes your, um, mouth water a bit. Little tingly, yeah. Um. I really like those. The Vidal gummy pineapple rings. Mm -hmm. If they're into pineapple, they're worth a try. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. are definitely worth getting. Mm -hmm. All right, my turn. Your turn. Um, something that I'm not super psyched about. Because I was super psyched about these chili chips, but they yeah. weren't really great. Um, what is it? What is it? This is the kiwi thing? 
No, those are the cookies, I believe. Yeah. Let me have a look here. Well, they're made now, so we're gonna try them. All right. Made with real, I can't pronounce it. All right, so they're Astir Mamul cookies, traditional Middle oh. Eastern buttery cookie made with mm. dates that melt in your mouth. Okay. The best enjoyed with a cup of tea, cup of your favorite hot tea, and they're from the United Arab Emirates. Nice. I was excited because I remember looking at the menu before and I was kind of excited about mm -hmm. these ones. Mm -hmm. I love, I'm Dutch, so I love buttery cookies. Mm -hmm. So, buttery cookies plus dates. I love buttery cookies. I'm like met on dates, but it doesn't look like there's that much dates in Whoa. it. Whoa. Whoa. That just crumbled. <laughs> um, okay, what I'm going to do. Why don't you just take a bite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big, big ass bite. It's just powder. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. Mm hmm. So they are very crumbly. Very, very it's, buttery. It's like a butter shortbready crumble that's just like coating this like layer of date paste. Yeah, date paste. And it's mm -hmm. actually pretty good. It's not like overpowering at all. It's, it's just date flavored. I can see why they say to have it with like a cup of yeah. tea because it's a mild cookie and you usually would have like a mild cookie with your tea. Um, <sighs> The crumble, it's almost like too crumbly for it me. It is too crumbly. I like a buttery cookie, but it's just very like powdery. Well, like I literally, the moment that I went to break it in half, it just poofed and it just turned into like chunks. But yeah. So. Yeah. You can have that if you want to. It's just, I mean, like, it's just a little bit too like crumbly. <laughs> I did my best to try and contain it. It didn't really work. All right. I'll eat the rest of that later. Wait, are we going to be rating these? Are we rating these? Should we, okay, I've seen this done on other food testing things. Should we go like best to worst? Okay. So out of the three we've done so far, which would you consider the best? Probably the chips. I mean, they're not the like, they're not a sweet chili chip. That's not what I would call them. But if I was to go back and eat a bite of something right now, I'm going to have I'd another chip. chip. Um, but I pineapple. also prefer chips over like pineapple rings. Actually, I might go for the chips. I like salt right now. So mm -hmm. chips would be second. Or the, the pineapple would be second. Mm -hmm. And I think the dates are at the back here. Mm -hmm. They're over off screen. <laughs> They're, it's not bad. It's just very crumbly. Yeah. Which we got to take a lot of things into account. We got to take like the flavor, the texture, the mouth feel, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, like when you're eating something, if it's just powdery and gets everywhere, it yeah. has to be really good to be worth that kind of mess and clean up. I mean, the table is just covered in crumbs. Now. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get it later. We'll get it later. Um, so next. Next is your call. It's my call. I think I kind of want to try this uh, This one. The Millions? Millions strawberry flavored. The tiny, tasty, chewy sweets. Now these ones, I'm going to read this one. Yeah, you read it, babe. Um, these are Millions strawberry. These chewy sweets are strawberry flavored and made with real fruit juice for a fresh and delicious candy you'll eat by the handful. They're from the United Kingdom. So in my head immediately, since it's Millions in the United Kingdom, they must be like sprinkles. Yeah, and there's no artificial colors or, and it's real fruit juice. Okay. So we'll go ahead and try it. It makes me think they probably have these in different flavors. Like this one's yeah, strawberry. Probably like a, like, there's probably you, different fruit flavors. You're probably going to like a, a gas station or a, or a grocery store or something like that. And they have like a box of each kind of flavor. Yeah. Um, here's. Yeah, I'll just pour some in your hand here. Oh, I should have showed the camera before. Oh, yeah, so show the camera first. Mm. It's okay, it's open, so I'm just gonna... Okay. Just kind of pinch it. Pinch it. Like that. Oop. Oop. Million lost down. <laughs> oh, oh, lost one. Or are those hundreds and thousands? Hundreds and thousands are sprinkles. That's what they are. There we go. Oh, crap. Lost another one. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm gonna try one. Just better. one, yeah. Mmm, they are chewy. Oh. I like that already. Mm-hmm. They're like the size of a nerd. Yeah. But they're chewy like a. Uh, like they're, they're super tiny. Mm hmm. They're chewy like. It reminds me of something. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Almost like a Starburst. Of. Like a Starburst mixed, mixed with, with a like Skittle. a fruit snack or a Skittle. Yeah. You can like, taste their real strawberry. Yeah. Like if you take the shell off the Skittle and just have the like the chewy part inside, it's kind of mm -hmm. what it's like. But like tinier. Yeah. Like look at that. That's just a handful of like strawberry flavored. Pellets. That's got to be my number one now. Yeah. That's definitely moved to the front. Yeah. Um, It'll be hard to put that there. You can't even see them on camera either, babe. I know. Uh, we will take a picture of it afterwards. Okay. That way. There we go. We'll upgrade the whole schematic later. This is like, we're doing it. Yeah. 
The only thing I will say is I could feel like your mouth would get sore. Like, you know when you're yeah. eating Skittles or Starbucks and they've got a tiny bit stale? I feel like very easily your mouth can get kind of like sore and your like, teeth can get a little bit like... You're chewing on the same piece of gum for like two or three hours. Your jaw mm -hmm. starts to hurt. Kind of mm -hmm. like that. I feel like that. I'm going to just put my handful of... <laughs> like if you go to millions. handful. Yeah. I'm going to just pick at those as we go along. <laughs> okay. All right, All right. You pick. I kind of want to say the, the absolute best, I think, for last. So it's going to be the... the um, that's going to be one of your favorite. The, the Stroop Waffle. Mm -hmm. I want to leave that one for last. Mm -hmm. um, that was very sweet, so I think we're going to try something a little bit more salty. Go with the savory, sure, yeah. sure. These are Elmer's New Orleans Chewies. Barbecue Chewies. cheese curls. <laughs> Chewies, not cheesies, Chewies. Chewies. So this is not your typical sweet barbecue snack. A unique blend of spices and a delicious aged sharp cheddar cheese coating makes this snack so popular. Obviously, it's from New Orleans. Yeah. It's, it's from the States. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> All right. Mm. Oh, not a bad side. It's kind of just cheesy. Oh, yeah. It's mm. nice. It looks like the nacho cheese cheesies we have, like where yeah. it has like the nacho it's like if you took cheesy the, and then like some seasoning on yeah, it. If you're Canadian, it's like you took the Hawkins cheesies and kind of. Um, Hmm. Coated them in nacho cheese. So, personally, mm. I'll say right off the bat, it's a very cardboard flavor. Yeah. The cheesy itself, like, we're kind of used to them being a corn like, flavor. Over here. It's like styrofoam almost. It's very cardboardy styrofoamy. Yeah. With just, like, very little cheese flavor. Yeah. And a dusting of, like, like barbecue, flavor. barbecue flavoring. Like, I almost want to take one of these. Yeah, take another one just in mm -hmm. case. Because I got, I got a pretty dull one of those at the start. Mm -hmm. But I kind of feel like you need to take one of those and one of these and just kind of do this. I need to decide if I like them or not. They're weird. They're very middle of the road for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got one with lots of flavor there and it just tastes like a barbecue chip. But yeah. like... It's still... It, it's, but again, like it's a bad barbecue feel. chip. Yeah. It's, it's the mouth... Yeah. It's like you got... um. I don't want to rag any brands here, but I'm right on brand. It's like you got a, a barbecued, like, Dorito. Or a barbecued Lay's. Like. Hmm. I, yeah. I can mind this and that, and those overpowered this easily. I honestly think even a barbecued Lay's would be better. Um, yeah. It very much tastes like cardboard. Like, it's like a cardboardy styrofoam feel. Yeah. Mm hmm Like, even, even the, like, the crisp of it, like, let me get a big one. Like, the crisp of it is, like, it's so, it's not fragile, but it's also not, like, crispy. I expected these to be, like, Hawkins. Yeah, but we're lucky with Hawkins. Like, yeah. Hawkins cheesies are, like, a Canadian Very classic. Canadian thing. They're super flavorful. Like, they have a punch of flavor. Yeah. And they're very corn, so they're very, like, hard. hard. Which, um, now that I'm, like, 30 years old, I love. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're interesting. All right, those are not my favorite. Yeah, those are gonna. I'm gonna take a million to cleanse my palate. Do you want? Oh yeah, I do. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, that was good. All right, I think I'm gonna go. I'm trying to pick our favorites for yeah. to leave for last. So I think for me, these ones are gonna be my favorite. So I'm gonna go with this one. Yep. Chunky. We'll let you take that. That's the Kit Kat Chunky Popcorn Bar. Salted Caramel Popcorn Bar. Yeah, it doesn't say that on here. Uh, iconic wafer bar covered with smooth milk chocolate, now layered with salty others. Salty popcorn filling. This is a sweet and salty dream of a candy bar mm -hmm. from the United Kingdom. So it's going to be good chocolate. Salted Caramel Popcorn, United Kingdom. So Nestle does get ragged on a lot for having shit chocolate. Yeah. But anything coming out of the UK chocolate-wise is usually way be better. better. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. We're just totally gonna eat these snacks after, too. Oh, hell yeah. That's entirely what we're doing. <laughs> oh, interesting. No, it comes in pieces. So, like, our it's got, like, Kit Kat. Our Kit Kats usually they have smaller division lines. Yeah. This Kit Kat literally comes in like three big chunks. Three really big chunks. Like, mm, <laughs> like yeah, like it's no. three. What'd you do? 
What did I do? That one's backwards, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> we can put things together. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're like three Quite big, big chunks. chunks. So it's like you and two friends could enjoy it, or yeah. let's be real, you could enjoy now, it. <laughs> now, how many of these chunky Kit Kats have you had? Because I've eaten a lot of these before. I think I've had like one or two. Like I, I don't even remember having them before. I have eaten so many of these that I have a unique, not unique, I have a special way that I eat them. I always mm -hmm. eat the back end first, so either w this end or that end, and I just take the chunk off because that's just chocolate. So maybe so because we're trying. So I'm gonna go from the front. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. All right, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh, that, 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 that. Wow. I get the Ooh. popcorn, the salted popcorn. I got butter. Mmm. I didn't get a butter hit, but I got like definitely a like a salted popcorn flavor in it. It's like okay, you know when you're when you have a bowl of popcorn mm -hmm. and the bottom is just nothing but butter. Like if I put a lot of butter in my popcorn. Um, you put there's all the butter, popcorn in the butter, mm -hmm. butter at the bottom of the bowl. I'm trying to speak English. And you take like a piece and you just kind of scoop as much as you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I got. Just yeah. a hit of like a little bit of popcorn and then just butter. So it must have just been like one piece of your popcorn was super buttery. I would say this is good. The chocolate's really good. I like the crunch. I don't feel like the popcorn adds that much to no. the bar. Like I feel like if they had just done a layer of caramel, I'd enjoy it more. Like the like, wafers with caramel. The um, funny thing is I relate that more, except for like the butter flavor, that would be more like a uh, Kit Kat with like some Rice Krispies in it. Mm-hmm. But salty Rice Krispies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you think about that one? Actually, you know what I'm, gonna do? I'm gonna reverse this a little bit. I'm gonna change the date bar with the Twizzlers. I think the date bar was mm -hmm. better than the those. Mm -hmm. I um personally, I think I'd put it after the. Yeah, I'm going between putting it. So I have like the millions first, and then I have the sweet chili chips. I'm going between having the Kit Kat and then the pineapple rings, or the pineapple rings and then the Kit Kat. The thing I... is. Pineapple isn't my favorite flavor, but yeah. I do think overall that product is better than this one. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same zone. I'm not sure if it's gonna go before that, but I think if we put it after mm -hmm. the pineapple, I think that's the best place for it. I would agree. Yeah. We'll take the picture after maybe of just the, like we'll put these into baggies yeah, and just take it of the- it. No, no, I mean, we'll put the leftovers into baggies and just take it of the packaging. Oh yeah, yeah, works. I feel like that'll like be yeah. easier to manipulate. All right. My I'm turn. gonna cleanse my palate with it. Yeah. Our yeah. millions. Mm. Uh, I am gonna make us a quick, like, another, I'm gonna make another coffee mm -hmm. for the stroop waffle. Okay. I think it'll fit better on your cup. Yeah. Because we know those work. But we're gonna do that last. Yes. So let me, I'll try and work on finishing my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> or we can just get a mug with some hot water in it. True. Because we'll we have coffees. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you thinking? The double milk. Alright. I don't know if this is the milk, mi milk o -loo double milk sandwich. Do you want to show it to the... Yeah. Irresistible milk cream stuffed sandwich biscuits are making a comeback. These cookies were popular in the 90s, then vanished, only to be brought back worldwide for everyone to enjoy, and they're from Pakistan. Oh, it sounds kind of like a penguin almost, but not. It almost reminds me of like a plainer Ooh. version of like an Oreo. Oh, interesting. Cool. I gotta take out a good one. They smell very milky, which I don't know if I like. Yeah. Cheers. I like the consistency of the cookie. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I like a very plain cookie. Yeah. Like a very plain vanilla cookie, but like not much vanilla flavor to it either. I guess like they said they're milk flavored, yeah. but um, reminds me of like a kid's cookie that's quite plain. Yeah, like, this would be something I might eat. Cause it's sweet, you get the, you get that sugar cube, but there's no like crazy flavor to it. Mm-hmm, and what it's I'm, not too sweet. No, what I'm doing, I eat the top, which is just, honestly, again, very buttery, very milky. And I'm just gonna eat just like the cream. I think I like the cookie better than I like the cream. Yeah, I think that all the flavors in the cookie, I'm not getting much of the cream. You wanna try some? Okay. 
Um, also, and this is totally just a me thing, when I smell it and I know it's a milk flavored cookie, it almost smells a little bit like curdled milk to me. Oh. Like a little bit of sour milk and it just kind of throws me in terms of like once I have that thought in my mind, it's you're like You're that afraid that the first thing in my mind. face is going to be sour milk. I think yeah. these are going down here. Um, yeah. I would put them before, the, yeah, before the date yeah. cookie, but pretty far down there. More millions. Mm -mm. Mm, I love those. Those are definitely at the top. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go with these Astro Belts. Um, I love me a good sour belt candy. Astro, oh, Astro Belt. Uh, a retro style sweet treat with a sweet and sour berry flavor that's out of this world. Unwrap, uh, the, reason, unwrap the reason why this has been a classic for so long for United, from the United Kingdom. Wham Astro Belts. It definitely reminds me of like a classic candy you'd have when you were younger. All sugar, all, all sugar. like sour. It's um like rolled up in a ball and then you would like unroll I, it, right? I remember buying these when I worked at or when I uh, lived by a gas station when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But not like this. Like it was a, it was a Canadian version of it. Lots of sugar on there. Sugar's getting everywhere. <laughs> Oh, what's it supposed to be? Strawberry? What flavor is it supposed to be? Mm -hmm. It does not say a flavor on it. Okay. But it's very like... Pink. Pink and sugary. <laughs> yeah, we're getting yeah. sugar everywhere. Yeah. No. Oh. Tastes like a fruit roll-up. It tastes to me like um, when you're litter and you have those flavored chapsticks. It tastes like one of those sweet flavored chapsticks where it doesn't really have a flavor, but it's kind of that like weird artificial waxy flavor yeah. almost. Like you're like licking your lips and it was like a smuckers or smackers, like whatever flavor, <laughs> like strawberry. It's, it's, it's very <laughs> weak. Like you have to have a lot of that to get a strawberry flavor out of mm -hmm. that. It doesn't say it's strawberry, so maybe it's just like fruit red flavor like it's just yeah. yeah it doesn't have any flavor on it let's see the ingredients but it is oh awesome. right it's it's the united, united kingdom there's not even ingredients list oh there's never right. i'm dumb <laughs> um got sugar everywhere apple radish radish yeah apple radish apple and then radish uh cherry sweet potato Fruit concentrate. Sweet potato and radish. Interesting. I mean, it's so, better than the stuff you get in the States. So it is just... Um, like fruit flavored. Like fruit flavored. Yeah, it's not like strawberry. It's like a fruit punch or a fruit yeah. mixture, which is why it doesn't have a flavor. That goes before the cookies, I think. Totally. Yeah. It is better than the cookies. It's just that, like, and honestly, as a kid, you love anything that's sugar covered yeah. and it has a bit of sourness to it like the pineapple did. Just doesn't have a strong flavor and it does have a bit of a waxy flavor almost like a chemically yeah. waxy flavor to it it's almost like you bit into a fake candy like well like there are candies like those wax lips and different candies that are like specifically like waxy flavored do you we'll we'll try a video for these later but do you like those like tube things that are basically like a red candy with a white inside yes i do like those that's what that reminds me of Oh, see, so it doesn't remind me of those. Because that's what that tastes Maybe like. Maybe like really bad versions of yeah. those. We'll buy different versions yeah. of those and, we'll and I'll show you later. like good ones. <laughs> okay. They're good ones. So that was your try, which means the last of the... So your try, your pick now. The last of them, not before we do the mm -hmm. swoop waffle. We have two left, yeah. Uh, is the... I'm excited for this. Go Free. Ooh, this looks really good. So crisp wafer sandwich is loaded with sweet cream. Discover crunchy. Is it hazelnut or is it toffee? Uh, it looks flavors. like it's got hazelnut. Okay. So you could have either in the box gotten hazelnut or toffee, but we got crunchy hazelnut bits sprinkled throughout a wafer Ooh. bar. And it's from Poland. Ooh. Yeah. This should be fantastic. Then. It actually looks, it was one of my highest on it, which is why I left it towards the end. Okay. Big piece, little piece. Big piece. Big piece. Yeah, like, look at that. It's got a nice, like, it's actually got a nice, like, pattern to it. Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, you can see that, um, I'm going to get closer oh, to the camera. Yeah. So you can see the top one has the hazelnut bits and the bottom one's just chocolate. It smells delicious. 
Oh. Smells hazelnutty and delicious. Ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. I love a good wafer. Mm -hmm. I love a good wafer cookie. Like, we can get those wafer. Excuse me. We can get those good wafer cookies here, like the ones mm -hmm. we get from any grocery store. Yeah, they and come in are, like the three packs yeah. long skinny. Yeah. And those are pretty good. This is like the next level version of that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what that is. Like, that's a really bad wafer almost. No, it's like styrofoam. <laughs> He was pointing to the um chi chiwis. These things. Mm -hmm. But the it's insides like, are kind of the same. No. Does it have the crunch that a wafer has? Like it's not true. Yeah, that's good. I that is delicious. Oh, and I would say we'll have it later. Okay. And I would say I don't know. I need to try the millions again. Cause it's like tied for millions in my mind for first. Yeah, I think it's first. I think I put the millions first. So we'll tie it. So yeah, they're pretty tied. Let's, let's be tied for first. Because the millions is um, fruity and that's chocolatey. Yeah. So it's kind of, yeah. Different categories, but same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Totally. Now for the syrup waffle, which means I'm going to have to go make us a cup of hot water at the least. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Coffee or water. Warm beverage. Now. It's technically my turn to pick. Okay. I will read off the thing then. Oh, well, this is a little bit, uh, got crumb crunched. Oh, crap. So these are the Double Dutch Maple Stroop Waffle, uh, which ooey gooey maple flavor treat that's been best prepared resting over a hot mug of coffee, but delicious mm -hmm. on its own. No matter which way you eat it, you'll enjoy Holland's favorite cookie. And it says it's from Canada, but it is definitely a Holland thing. Mm -hmm. um, Does it say product of Canada? Because it yeah. it's a maple flavored one. It's probably, it was probably made here, but uh, Stroop Waffle is a, Traditionally. Uh, uh, Netherlands thing. Yeah. Um, now here's the thing, anyone who has or seen these um, in shops, what I used to do before I put them on top of coffee, so they never really used to drink them at coffee at home, I used to microwave them for like 15, 20 seconds. And then they get kind of gooey and soft, and it's just oh, so good. <laughs> Sorry, friends. Ah. <laughs> so it got a tiny bit crumbled, but not bad. Oh, that's fine. Do you want to hold it up to the camera? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically just like two very thin waffles or pizzelles. Pizzelles. Um, yeah. With like maple in the middle. It says it was manufactured by Chef's Bakery in Norwich, Ontario, Canada. DoubleDutchWaffles.com. And then you do that with it. Yeah, put it over your morning coffee to warm it up and get that uh, in center yeah. a little bit gooey. It, it's a very good test of patience almost because what it does is it lets you have your coffee cool down, your tea cool down while also heating the treat. So instead of just immediately drinking coffee, you're like, oh my God, it's too hot. It's like, okay, I'm gonna put this on top of it so when it's ready, I'll have a nice treat and my coffee will be cool-ish. I feel like it's gotta be close to yes, being sir. ready. All right. When you see it's, it's kind of done, it can just like bend easily. So do you wanna take a bite? Do you wanna just bend it in half? That didn't really go in half. I'll give you the big piece. No, I'll take the small piece. It's your favorite. Aha. All right. I took the big piece. It, it is warm to touch a little bit. Yeah. And you could see when he was pulling it, it yeah, kind of a little stringy because the like, goo was like. Nope. That part, not so much. <laughs> you can definitely taste the maple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say I like this more than the regular ones. I like the maple flavor to it more than the regular caramel. I think so too, yeah. But I always love maple flavored things. I love maple. We're classic Canadians yeah. over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little tiny like edge there. And you can kind of see like the goo on the middle. We, oh, um, yeah. mm, that's when we go up to my family's cabin, we go by this place that sells like, it's like a Quebec place. So mm -hmm. It has all the maple things mm -hmm. and poutines. And we'll definitely have to do, because we'll, I'm sure we'll video when oh, we yeah. go up for Easter. We're thinking of going up there for Easter weekend. And um, we'll have to stop in there and video because they have really good poutine. And No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy we left that one for last because that is by far my favorite. But that's just me, me being biased. I think I'd put it number one too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So we'll say it best from worst, and I'll kind of pop each picture up as we go. All right. right. 
So actually, let's go worst to best. We'll pop the pictures in between us. Yes. Future Rob <laughs> editing. <laughs> right here. Um, so the worst is the Chewies. Elmer Chewies. Yeah. We weren't a big fan of those. I taste that cardboard. They yeah. don't have much flavor. Uh, Not next worth up, it. Actually, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, so that's number that's number ten. Yeah, number worst. ten, Chewies. Uh, number nine With is the Mamul um, date cookie thing. Yep. Which. Eh. Yes, thank you. Pull that out so you can read yeah. the titles <laughs> easier. Um, the next one is the. I think it's on this next page. Yes, uh, that's the yeah, uh, Lou Milko Lou Double Milk Sandwich. Um, very bland. Mm -hmm. I got a very strong butter flavor from it, but that's just me. I. Not a fan. I liked, I didn't mind the actual cookie bits, the center, not as much. Yeah. And like, yeah, bland, kind of baby food. Yeah. Uh, and then the next one, that's number eight, mm -hmm. is the Barrett's Wom Astro Belt, which kind of waxy, almost fake candy. So this is number seven. This is number seven? One, yeah. two, three. Yeah, seven, sorry. Yeah. So uh, the, the milk cookies were eight, the Astro Blasters yeah. are seven. Uh, the Kit Kat is number six then. Yeah, which the, is chunky popcorn. The which, popcorn just didn't add much to the Kit Kat for us yeah. personally. Uh, the chocolate number, was good on the Kit Kat. Chocolate was good, yeah, but that's mm -hmm. just chocolate. So, mm -hmm. um, number five would be the pineapple rings. Yes, five. Mm -hmm. um, which are <laughs> <We can count. laughs> Vidal pineapple rings, which mm -hmm. I liked quite a bit. I know you liked them quite a bit because um, I didn't mind them considering yeah. I don't like pineapple. They had a good sour flavor. They had definitely real pineapple flavor. Um, to me, the texture was only so-so. I know I would get tired eating them. Like my yeah, jaw it's, would it's, get it's something you have like one or two of, and then you're yeah. like, okay, I'm done for now. It's a good, it's a good containment snack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, number four is the Mackey's Ridge Cut Potato Crisps. Yes, and that which, would be our favorite out of the salty things yeah. we ate today for sure. I mean, there's only two salty things, but <laughs> yeah, but still, and it's technically mm -hmm. three if you include the chewies and the popcorn. I don't know what chocolate bar salty. Sweet salty, but it's still, yeah, yeah okay. It's salty caramel. Okay. Um, yeah, those actually weren't, compared to everything else, those are really good. Mm -hmm. If you get a chip with the right amount of like dusting on it. And honestly, they're really good. They're just not what they advertise. So they yeah. advertise sweet chili and they were like a chicken barbecue. Like they weren't what they Definitely advertised, flavor. but they were good. Yeah. Um, number three mm -hmm. is the millions. I think for here, we would differ here. I think I would do my number three as this one. You do this little wafers as three. I thought, I think I thought you would. liked the wafers more than the millions. I went back and forth, but I think if I'm putting this one as number one, I think I would do the wafers as number three. Okay, then the, the wafers will go in three. I'll just switch those around. Mm -hmm. But um, you can have a different number three. No, nah, it's the same thing, whatever. Okay. Um, because they're both like equal to me. Because mm -hmm. one is very good chocolate and one is very good sweets. Yeah, like, yeah. They are pretty close, but yeah. I think that my, because my number one is more of a sweet type, like... Um, rich sweet, yeah. I think I would do the fruity as my number two, so then I think the wafers would go to the number three. Okay, so the, what are they called again? The Gupla toffee or hazelnut wafer. So there's a hazelnut, Gupla hazelnut wafer. Which are from Poland, mm -hmm. which are our number three. Three, yep. Um, very, very good, but, um, they're good. No negatives, actually. Not really No negative. negatives. They're no, good. They're good. We just had a few really good <laughs> things in here. I'm trying to add a negative and a positive. But no, really they're good. I don't have any negative. And then number two is the million strawberry, which are mm -hmm. these fantastic little like marble shaped. And so they did have a things, negative. But... <laughs> Whatever. They did have a negative, but their positive is so overpowered the negative yeah. that they're still up there. Their negative is you are gonna get tired eating them. They are a little bit like harder to chew. Yeah. But that flavor is just mm. phenomenal. This little like... tiny this little tiny bead has just this massive pop of flavor. Yeah, it is amazing the amount of flavor yeah. they get in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, number one is our double Dutch. <laughs> the only waffle. Canadian thing, <laughs> and we <laughs> chose it as number one. <laughs> what does that say about us? <laughs> yeah, true Canadians, yeah. like to the core. Um, yeah, it was just really good. Yeah. And the maple flavor in the stroop waffle, like we just love maple, so. Yeah. yeah. It, it's got a fantastic maple flavor. Yeah. Uh, it's got a fantastic um, like outer, wafer cookie shell thing it's mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. um if we took canada out of the running then poland and uk would yeah. be tied but honestly because uk had kind of two in the, top, two in the four, top four i feel like uk came out of this the winner for like, sure 
I don't think it's fair that um, the ones we got from other countries, like yes. the Date Bar mm -hmm. and the Mili Kalu or whatever, were like neutral flavors. They're very butter heavy. So if they had been something However, like... However, for all we know, those countries just don't do as heavy flavored yeah. sweets. Like maybe they prefer the more neutral flavors. Yeah, they focus more on flavoring their actual food rather than their sweets. That can make yeah, sense. Yeah, and I know that like for Western, for the Western countries like Canada, USA, we tend to have really flavored sweets. Yeah. Like are we tend to like big flavors and to have things very much flavored. Canada's a bit better than the States. The States, um, like their pops and everything are very sweet. Oh yeah, their pops are super sweet. Um, whereas Canada's a little bit better, more like the UK, but yeah, we do tend to like a punch of flavor. A punch of flavor. If we're gonna have a treat, we wanna yeah. taste that Bam. treat, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Do you wanna show them the front of that? Yeah. So this is the Munch Pack box thing. Yeah. Um, it actually has instructions on the back of it, which is <laughs> step one, take a picture. Step two, share on social media. Mm -hmm. And then step three, use hashtag munchpack. So you'll probably see that in the description below. Mm -hmm. And you uh, can win a three month subscription. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I thought it was just instructions on how to, pr how to promote their stuff. No, you can win a three month subscription. I mean, who knows if we would, but um, we do have a three month subscription. We grabbed it on Boxing Day when it was crazy on sale and thought, well, we like trying things. So yeah, we'll be. Uh, and trying we, more to come and yeah. see we'll see and yeah, we've definitely been looking forward to doing like crates and snack packs like this mm -hmm. um yeah that'll be good mm -hmm. all right thank you